Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of 420 Grams here on Newsclick.in. Uh, we've been out for a while because Weber has been having some hard nights and Mr. Pandit is on a hard deadline. Hard nights? Hard deadline. It just so weird. Hard I mean, look at your face, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a bad face. What do you want to do? What do you mean by hard nights? Uh, heavy nights. Heavy nights. Heavy nights. Yeah, heavy nights. Putting in, burning the midnight oil. Really? <laughs> and Mr. Pandit is on a December 31st deadline, so he's trying to get it all done by yeah, then. Yeah. Uh, but we're back. And India is back in four days' time when we play Afghanistan in the next World Cup qualifier, as well, which also works for the Asian Cup 2023. Uh, we have a new friend on the show, Sports KPI, which we'll actually formally introduce as our stats and analysis partners from the next episode. But we have some inputs from them that we will start to put to you guys from this show onwards. We're essentially looking back at uh, how the under-19 Indian men's team did in the Asian Cup, a the AFC qualifiers over the past week. And we're looking ahead to the World Cup qualifier. Uh, Arjun Pandit is in the studio, so is Weber Pragnandan, as we said. Uh, let's get right in it, guys. Mm. Do you want to start with the under-19 boys and how they did? Or do you want to talk about the national team first and then work our way back? I think under-19, because uh, three games they get three games. And uh, I know Bura Lage Na Lage Pete. I don't want to talk about them. So, but Pete, I'm. But Buri Lage. You don't want to talk at all. I, so I, 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 I honestly, <laughs> and I know the level of competition was different from what the under 16s did, where they, you know, they thrammed everyone in front of them. Yeah, hmm. Uzbekistan is a small team. Nahi hai, so, they're in the top four, top three of Asia. Uh, Saudi Arabia, of course. I'm Arab ki bolne wala. Saudi Arabia again, top two. And then who? Afghanistan is the one. Which is what I don't understand, man. Under 16, we have to under 19, and we have to do it in the last two years. What is it? I really don't get it. Because you had a lot of. You had Narinder who was playing, Narinder Gelot, mm -hmm. coming in with senior team experience. Mm -hmm. yeah. You had a lot of these boys who were playing I League, ISL football. And they, they're getting regular football, I think, a lot of them. Uh, maybe not regular, but they're Indian arrows, so they know what top flight football is all about. And uh, well, so, it's, it's something that we can talk about because the Arrows project, how it is and what it's going to be also going forward is something that's in doubt now with the mm -hmm. whole uh, roadmap for the league. So, we can get into that. But overall, what did you make of the performance, whatever games you guys watched of the under-19 team? What did you make of the overall performance? Because I, I thought there was a, I mean, the problems or the issues were the national team. Ke saath hote Carry forward, ho hai. A lack of cohesion, defensive organization. But under 16, where was that? Under 16, he was not Carry rao. forward, so I'm saying that this carry forward, what has suddenly changed here? That's my point. It's not that these guys are under 16 and suddenly you've plucked them up when hmm. they're 17 years old or 16 years old. These are the system guys. Yes, they're playing a lot of time. So what has changed? That's why I don't hey, understand it. World Cup bhi in mein se kuch khele hai. To, or senior, like you said, senior team also played senior team. Understand it, yeah. Even I can't understand it. To be fair, huh. <laughs> thanks for watching. <laughs> thanks for watching. Yeah. <laughs> That's our show. That's yeah. a wrap. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, I, I suppose m many issues, man. Huh. Um, principal among them, I guess, is the preparation that the teams get. Huh. The the because when you look at the shift from under 16 to under 19, that's essentially a crucial shift. If you look at the United, Liver uh, no, sorry, the City uh, Liverpool game, game over man. this weekend. What a game, man. Right? What a game. You look at the Champions League football over the past weekend, or how teams are made up in any of the top leagues in the world. Arsenal. A club that's popular Let's with Let's not talk guys. about them. Man. They're playing Sikkim World I Cup. really love the <laughs> Arsenal in uh, Chile. Very yeah. lovely team. Uh, amazing, yeah. Arsenal right. is coming to play Bordeloit so Trophy now. By, by the time <laughs> players are... <laughs> <laughs> Pause for <laughs> laughter. Long, long live uh, local tournaments. Yeah, mm. but I, I hope they do. But, so, as far as these so-called major teams are concerned or, or world teams are concerned, when you are 18, 19, 20 years old, you are playing until you are top level. Ghus gaye. Khel rahe hain. Hai. If you Google top young players, you will find lists and lists and lists. If you look at the late, latest version of football manager, yeah. players, teenage players and the valuations that yeah. they have are immense. Haan. 
here we have a situation where we are not being able to provide that transitional phase where by the age of 18 19 they are al already prepared for the rigors and the difficulties of top flight football case in point being narendra gehlot being a national team player but is now getting regular playing and time. not just a national team player at but if you level? look at the stats and the availability of players hmm. he's among the top 3 guys to play central defense for the indian senior team right hmm. with the surgery that sandesh has gone through adil potentially being out with a hamstring injury hmm. uh, and the general lack of central defenders so and, but he doesn't he doesn't turn up for his club He's not, first He's not playing for that his much. Club. Yeah, yeah. So that's. See, I I feel uh, truth be told, I didn't see every game. I saw it in bits and pieces, and the one glaring thing that I saw was that there is a lack of potency in front of goal, which was not there to be seen in the under 16s. Under 16s, में तो मतलब मजे के लिए गोल मार रहे थे. वो जो एक लड़का था, I've forgotten his name, and there was of course there was two boys. Uh, no, there's like Rohit Danu at the Rohit under 16 level. But Rohit Danu is that then Sridhar, in that game. Sridhar boy. Hmm. Then there's uh, Shubho Paul. Shubho Paul, yeah. Shubho. So, yeah, these guys are do who are doing well at the. No, Rohit Danu is under 19. He's oh, not he's, not at the under 16 under level, but Rohit Danu was not part of this uh, AFC qualifier thing because of some injury. I'm just saying the other guy didn't seem like there was any potency in front of goal. I said, laga nahi ki matlab ab game bana rahe ho, game pahunch rahe ho, aur wahan pe kuch hoga, wo dikh nahi raha bilkul. Which is why I was alarmed because the same when you see the under 16s, they were controlling. They were building it up. Then they had an avenue of either someone is breaking in or someone's coming in from the wing. And you had two guys inside, one guy going from the left, and the attack is from the right, and so on and so forth. The same thing was just non-existent in the under 19s. And again, I'm going to put it out there: the quality of the opposition they were facing was top quality. This is world-class quality they were facing. Under 70, uh, the under 19 Uzbeki team, they always seemed a step ahead. And it's, it's I'm not saying it's the team's fault. But unki development was hai. कि उनका टच उनका मूवमेंट सेकंड बॉल के लिए वो हर वक्त एक कदम आगे थे वहीं अंडर 16 में हम वो टीम लग रहे थे और अगर हम नहीं लग रहे थे हमारी क्लिनिकल थे हम फिनिशिंग में थे तो हम गोल मार रहे थे जो भी कर रहे थे तो आई डोंट नो यार आई डोंट नो हाउ दिस उज्बेकिस्तान वर इन द फाइनल ऑफ द एशियन गेम्स वेयर दे हैड गॉन विद देयर अंडर 21 स्क्वाड एंड दे लॉस्ट टू साउथ कोरिया इन द फाइनल्स प्रीटी we, essentially, the Asian Games is a junior. Uh, yeah, junior it's an under-23 tournament. tournament. Yeah, yeah so, and also, I saw I was watching the games and uh, against both Afghanistan and Saudi, huh. the goals that India conceded on counter-attacks, whether it's, and deep counters, huh? there are times when they've lost the ball no, at the no. edge of their own box. Huh. Three passes, four passes, and it, there's a goal on the other end. Liverpool, okay. So, Counter, yeah. Liverpool counter. Fair enough. Hmm. I mean, so it, obviously there's an understanding, awareness, a situational uh, sort of on the ballness that we don't have. Hmm. When you look at India still, even at under 19 level, there is confusion. There are players converging on the ball. Three guys converging on the ball when there's no real need to. Or the defense going to sleep. I mean, you can't have the ball in the opposition half just like 10 yards outside the box on one corner and then have a speculative ball played up the middle and the guy, first guy running onto it is the opposition striker. Your defence is watching the ball and then trying to catch up. Hmm. So, and, and then again, you have one goalkeeper who is playing throughout. The decision making of that goalkeeper, when is he getting a chance to improve those things? And you look at a lot of one-on-one. -on -one. A lot of one-on-one -on -one chances that have happened in this tournament. He's getting beaten through the legs, to the right, to the left, over the top. You know, all sorts of situations. So, it's an extremely difficult situation, I think, for the coaches to handle, man. And I don't know what you guys think in terms of how this can be you... worked on or worked through to get us to a position where we can actually compete even at the junior level. Bye. Because before, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm talking too much today, but... Uh, before the qualifying campaign started, we were actually giving India a fairly solid shot that we will take three or four matches from the first three or four matches. We will qualify for the next group. Based on past performance. Under-19s. No, senior teams. Senior teams. Under the qualifiers. Under-19s, you expect more of an impact to happen. 
बिकॉज यू नो वेरियस थिंग्स सो वाई डू यू आई थिंक दिस इज इन वर्किंग आउट आई आई रियली गेम्स भाई टॉपिंगनी For, I mean that's also a thing huh? like you can't force leave the goalkeeper so exposed I mean, if he's conceding three huh. I would say in every game he's made at least like two or three saves also so if you he's already doing better than what you want a goalkeeper to be he shouldn't be facing so many shots this is like exactly like Arsenal now again <laughs> go back there huh. as it like you can't force a goalkeeper into like facing so many shots you can't expose them so cleanly it's it's huge problem area i think i think you hit the nail in the head right at the start of this conversation ki wohi hai ki under 19 under 16 se aap under 19 pe aate ho to kya ho fir aap system mein ghuste ho to ab i think hame abhi tak to at least going forward also we need to realize something if we are preparing for big competitions with big oppositions and we playing top quality opposition then we have to do the camp system where you take them out of the system and you keep a a group of 25 30 players और उनको लगातार आप मैच खिलाते जाओ इधर उधर बाहर क्योंकि अगर आपने उनको डिस्पर्स करके अपने क्लबों में भेज दिया अब इनमें से कुछ आई लीग के लड़के हैं आई लीग तो शुरू भी नहीं हुई है hmm. आप समझ रहे हो ना नहीं नहीं आई लीग शुरू भी नहीं हुई है तो हम कहते हैं ना मैच अवेयरनेस मैच वटेवर वटेवर उन कई प्लेयरों में वो मैच अवेयरनेस है ही नहीं और आप घुस गए हो उजबेकिस्तान और सऊदी अरेबिया के खिलाफ बट इज इट लाइक आई मीन आई एम आल्सो गोइंग टू जस्ट थ्रो दिस एज अ क्वेश्चन व्हिच इज इज इट इज अ कैंप गोइंग टू गिव यू दैट सेम थिंग at least the camp maintains the intensity bhai does it like that's what i'm asking it does like, for sure it? and which is see what a camp does is of course it keeps the players together tight knit mm. group so you know each other off the field on the field as well and then in a camp say when you thrown them out and aapne unko wapas le aaya aapne do match khel liye teen match khel liye camp mein aap paanch chhe saat aath oppositions ke khilaf aap bahar you're going out of your country to just play games mm, okay, jo like bhi that, opposition okay, ho okay, okay. chahe low level opposition ho club level team ho national team ke khilaf aap match khel rahe ho oh, okay. aap apne system set kar rahe ho aap shape set kar rahe ho you're making yourself narrow without the ball so why you probably saying ki counter pe goal kha rahe hain apne apne half mein agar wahan pe unne towards the opposition deep pe ball जीती है वापस और फिर ऑफ कोर्स उनने वापस किया तो इट्स बिकॉज़ आप खुले हुए हो ना पूरी तरह तो आपकी टीम चढ़ी हुई है थोड़ी डेस्परेट है गोल मारने के लिए उन्होंने वो देखा हो गए या आल्सो आई गेस अगर आप बिगिनिंग ऑफ द गेम में दो गोल खा लेते हैं तो देन यू आर ऑलवेज चेसिंग द गेम द चांसेस आर योर प्लेइंग प्लेयर्स आर ट्राइंग टू प्ले फर्दर फॉरवर्ड ट्राइंग टू मेक सम काइंड ऑफ इंपैक्ट एंड दैट प्रेशर ऑब्वियसली टेल्स मच मोर ऑन यंगर प्लेयर्स देन इट डज ऑन सीनियर प्लेयर्स बिकॉज़ you then just concentrating on trying to get a goal back get a goal back get a goal back and then you get beaten out but if you look at i mean just pure defensive mistakes hmm. lack of communi- i mean from and we we keep talking about it under 19 unfortunately it ends up being the first age at which we can start to attack the players in question because they are now adults huh. <laughs> you know b- before that we all try to be a little bit more charitable more uh, generous g- to the players at least mm-hmm. yeah. and put Ki more emphasis on the coaches mm. but from under 19 level onwards if you look at global football today whether it's kylian mbappe onwards and so many guys they are playing for their national teams they are playing for their club sides on a regular basis you know so they are supposed to be ready for professional but sport that, that comparison is not valid here now our systems are so far off I mean, yeah no for kylian mbappe to asian football as a whole yeah like if you think about it, i mean i don't know there was this know, little man. viral clip that had gone around of tajikistan scoring this really beautiful free kick routine goal at the under 19 level like you know like it was like a really well worked beautiful looking free kick superb and well done theek hai uske baad but that's that doesn't translate at the senior level no? huh. so there is like there is a gap between asian football and european football oh yeah definitely so we shouldn't like compare bring gaps absolutely Fair not enough. like just do and we only trying to get to the asian huh. sort of yeah, standard as of now and not yeah. even at the senior level huh. we are huh. only looking at uh, yeah. at age group levels Building. not even winning things but just competing making like steps in some sort of progressive direction mm. i guess qualifying for major tournaments i mean being opposition that afghanistan 
and other neighboring countries at least consider ch- a challenge not not a 3 nil loss huh. you know so uh, th- this doesn't seem to be happening and basic positioning errors yeah which side yeah. of the attacking player to be on when you're any, in any that defensive position player that impressed you from from the senior team i mean uh, there is india team under 19 uh, there uh, from the under 19 team there is vikram pratap the who, boy who was with the under 16s so when for, they played yeah, in the a, finals afc through the system he's uh-huh. he's all right the colored uh, colored ball wale na who's now got blonde hair i don't yeah. get it man ye kahan se ye, ye ek pehle bhi ek phase aaya tha kalkatta mein sare kalkatta ke player apne baal ko rang wale no like shop it uncle fashion ki baat hai humme dekh lo humse thodi si golden log golden kabhi laal kabhi hare acha theek hai jo theek hai ha then vikram he was on the left he was being played on the left na left right i don't know uh-huh. exactly where i mean they also have some fluidity in the team the under 16s yeah. I actually no one really stood out I thought yeah. again the the <laughs> difficulties are the same midfield mein dikkat hai aapko full backs mein dikkat hai aapko defense mein dikkat hai and yet we only point out the lack of finishing in front of goal because I suppose that's the most easy thing to say but those chances that are I mean and there's a seems to also be like more, a lot of the chances that we got were from off set pieces whether it's corners or free kicks or whatever i mean if we are starting this conversation on the basis that physically we are smaller huh. and we are especially at age group levels huh. we are smaller than the uzbeks the afghans i mean this is all statistically true right and the saudis we are not going to get three goals a game off set pieces no. the hope is that we'll get one game One you know game. and the delivery and the movement of those set pieces is getting better but again it's sort of hope for the best you know bhai i would just uh, i i think ho gayi sari baat i think main thing is ye ye bas ki aur ye ye suggestion hai aff aur jo decision wale hain abhishek yadav and everyone ki financially it might not suit the federation's pocket but if you are preparing a team at that under 19 under 16 level and you are preparing them for say an asian cup at that level or the afc cup qualifiers at that level then you have to keep these boys out of the system and you have to keep them in that bubble of 25 30 players aur unko ek sath rakho unko ja ke bahar match khilao unko har din wohi usi ke liye taiyari karni hai if you are expecting ki maine 16 saal ki under 16 khelne ke baad maine do ladke yahan bhej diye do ladke wahan bhej diye कोई आई लीग से आ रहा है कोई आईएसएल से आ रहा है कोई अपने घर पे बैठा हुआ है और उसको थोड़े थोड़े कैंपों के लिए बुला लिया वैसे नहीं चलने वाला सर हम वैसे ही पीछे हैं हाँ तो पीछे में हम ये अफोर्ड नहीं कर सकते ये फ्रांस फुटबॉल वाले कर सकते हैं हम बापे हम बापे जो इतने साल से खर रहे हैं कि आप उनको ब्रेक दो अब आप आपके सिस्टम में जाओ पैर सांजमान द न्यू कम बैक यूर बिंग टेकन केयर ऑफ वेर एव यू गो इट द कंसिस्टेंसी डजन एड अप ऑन डिफरेंट लेवल्स और डिफरेंट डिफरेंट प्लेटफॉर्म राइट सो यू नीड टू keep them together and uh, and my counter to, to that will be just that like this was tried in 2010 with the senior national the senior team, team. <laughs> yeah yeah they had to so again we we keep going back to the same thing ki 10 saal mein kuch badla nahi hai hum abhi bhi in fact ab hum keh rahe hain ki chalo hamare paas thode aur resources hain to bachchon ke sath bhi yahi karte hain karna chahiye agar hum yahi karte rahe so par ab aur isi bubble mein isi mein rahe hain to jaise ye jo road map road map ye sab jo ban rahe hain इसका पॉइंट क्या है नहीं तो रोड मैप आपको आज के दिन पे रिजल्ट तो देगा नहीं ना तो जो ट्रांजिशन पीरियड है और जब रोड मैप आपको रिजल्ट जब भी देगा वो बीच का पीरियड जो लॉस्ट होगा और जो खिलाड़ी जो उस टाइम बन के आ रहा है वो तो क्या कर पा रहा है ना फिर नहीं तो आप सो लेट से यू हैव अ रोड मैप ठीक है आप कह रहे हैं कि अगले पांच साल में हमारे पास ऐसा स्ट्रक्चर होगा तीन लीग तीन टीयर का लीग होगा उसमें ये 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 इतने सारे लोग खेलेंगे ठीक है बट इसमें से आपने अपने बेस्ट यंग प्लेयर्स निकाल लिए और उनको भेज दिया बाहर अंडर द एजेस ऑफ महेश गावली एंड बिबियानो फर्नांडो ड्यूरिंग दैट ट्रांजिशन फेज आई एम नॉट सेइंग फॉरएवर या बट हाउ देन व्हाट इज द टैलेंट ऑन व्हिच यू आर बेसिंग दिस स्ट्रक्चर क्या करें जो जो आपका आई एम आल्सो नॉट अ ह्यूज फैन ऑफ दिस लाइक पुटिंग पीपल इनटू अ कैंप थिंग व्हिच इज लाइक देयर इज अ like दिस दिस इज अ थिंग दैट इज फॉलोड इन अ डिफरेंट स्पोर्ट इन इंडिया व्हिच इज लाइक गॉट अ स्मॉलर वर्ल्ड वाइड ये ऑल्सो हॉकी आगे हॉकी वाले हां एंड उसमें इंडिया में यही होता है ना लाइक कहां खेलते हैं लड़के क्या लीग नहीं है वहां पे हॉकी में तो बहुत अब जा सकते हैं यूरोप में लीग चलते रहती है हां यूरोप में लड़कों को 
बिल्कुल ऑस्ट्रेलिया जाके खेल सकते हैं मैं इंडिया की लीग की बात कर रहा हूँ इंडिया सो दैट्स व्हाट आई एम सेइंग कि बट दिस व्हाट हैपेंस इज इफ यू पुट दिस गाइस इन अ कैंप दिस इज द ओपिनियन दैट अ लॉट ऑफ फॉर्मर प्लेयर्स ऑफन गिव इन विद रिगार्ड टू हॉकी अगेन व्हिच इज इन अ कैंप यू कैन नेवर नो मैटर लाइक हु यू आर प्लेइंग हु द ओपोजिशन यू कैन नेवर रीक्रिएट दैट इंटेंसिटी ऑफ गेम प्ले यू कैन नेवर मैनेज टू गेट दैट यू कैन नेवर इंप्रूव डिसीजन मेकिंग यू कैन नेवर इंप्रूव tactical understanding in a camp see i i'm just saying like, okay agreed fair enough okay here's the three brackets for you one you put them in the system mm. right your 16 18 20 players usme se panch ya chhe ko milega thoda bahut khelne ke liye 10 ko nahi khelne ko mila 10 to matlab aapko oblivion mein hai kahan hai pata nahi kuch kya ho raha hai theek hai then there's the other option ki aap unko camp mein dal do aapki nigrahi mein aap unko 15 20 16 25 jitne bhi match hai khila rahe ho baith ke khilao Huh? and i'm only talking about your transition phase so sure, after sure, sure. you said hmm. road map right whatever 6 years down the line 7 years down the line wo hmm. road map jab implement hoga uske 10 saal baad tab aap keh sakte ho ki road map help kar raha hai ki nahi help kar raha hai hmm. right to jab 15 saal ka period hai ye chhod do aap theek hai system mein ladkon ko bhejna junior wale ladke jo hai aise hi daadi safed hogi aur thodi safed hai kaam aur milega hum to bakwas karte rahe hain kya but so Here's a good segue then into the national team, senior team conversation. Twenty-five minutes in, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is basically, and again, like there's no point getting into a massive analysis of who will play, who will not play, because more or less it's going to be a very similar structure, similar squad. And at right? some point of time, one of us will say Rowlin Borges, and then there'll be like thirty oh, comments saying, "What is your squad?" No, Rowlin Borges. <laughs> But why is there no Rowlin Borges? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh so uh, the point is that then do you also take out these 30 players hmm. from your no from your because your senior league your senior league is still see i'll tell you why uh, the point i'm trying to make is bhai jo aapke ye 30 ladke dubai gaye hain hmm. and they are going for your two games hmm. in 30 mein se at least 25 ladke aise hain ya 26 ladke aise jo khel rahe hain regular game time mila hai in aakhri teen isl muqablon mein नहीं हाँ बिल्कुल ठीक है तो तीन हफ्ते उसकी गारंटी है आपके पास तीन हफ्ते में आपको नब्बे मिनट खेलने को मिल रहे हैं नो नब्बे आपका लीग जब भी शुरू हुआ मैं ये बातें तब लागू होती कि कि आपका लीग अभी तक तो शुरू नहीं हुआ फिर आपने कहा कि चलो जी मैं कहां से लड़कों को ला रहा हूँ आपको कैंप में ही रखना पड़ता है ना उनको अभी लीग शुरू हो गया है मैं कह रहा हूँ की ये जो लड़के आपके अंडर नाइनटीन के इसी लीग में जब खेलने आएंगे इस पच्चीस की टीम में से सिर्फ पांच है मेरे ख्याल से जो आपका सीनियर टीम का प्लेयर है उसको तो क्लब में खेलने को मिल ही नहीं रहा है तो वो मैं कह रहा हूँ कहाँ खेलेगा Exactly. Exactly. Which is why you have to keep them in a camp to give them game time to give or them you, game awareness. No, or you come on. This, this again. I suppose you're thinking long term. I'm argument. thinking now. I'm also saying now. Why not? What is the central theme of having a local league that you want to draw Indian fans? Who uh-huh. desi ham, who who our show dekhte hain, who baaki shows dekhte hain, uh-huh. hai na? Who Indian football ke fans hain, who baat karte hain is baare mein Instagram, Twitter pe, ye sab. uh we are trying to bring these people into the game mm. to make it more watchable for us huh. right more relatable why not have if you are making a road map if you are building a structure right now why not have stricter rules that make for more indian players to get in the system no one is watching i mean if you have a choice let's say last evening right you have at 10 pm or whatever time it was Liverpool versus Manchester City going on, huh. right? At that time, whatever ISL game is on, the chances are that most people will choose to watch the Liverpool City game. Most people, huh. right? Irrespective of whether you are under 19 players playing, or yeah, senior players playing, or national hmm. team's superstar playing, okay? So, your this TV tailored scene is not going to be going on. It's not going to be 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 प्रोग्रेसिव स्ट्रक्चर टीम के लिए तो खिलाओ आप लोगों को ना यार नो आई थिंक व्हाट यू अबाउट लोकल क्लब क्लब्स आर क्लब्स आर क्राइंग एंड दिस सॉर्ट ऑफ डेटा हैज बीन पब्लिश्ड ऑफ हाउ मच मनी ईच फ्रेंचाइज इज लूजिंग ऑन अ वीक मंथली और एनुअल बेसिस प्लेइंग यंगर प्लेयर्स विल रिड्यूस द वेज लोड सिग्निफिकेंटली ऑन द क्लब्स एंड अ लार्ज portion of the expenditure is on wages it will give indian players more opportunity to play it will give clubs more opportunity to connect with their local communities yeah. with so, their fan base aap kerala mein based hain to aap rahul kp ko khila rahe hain 
आशिक को खिला रहे हैं एग्जैक्टली ऐसे ही तो बनेगा अब ग्रीड सर दैट इज द राइट सिस्टम अग्रीड फेयर इनफ बट इन अ कंट्री वे यू डेवलप्ड पैरल लीग a league now which has become the top league in the country and which is still vying to nahi, ISL. ab to parallel kuch nahi hai na ab to ab join main, kar rahe hain nahi maine kaha pehle parallel tha na sir parallel mein parallel mein aap kya kar rahe ho aap us market ko keh rahe ho aap dikha rahe ho ki hamara jo football product hai product hai product is better than what you were getting in the past right hmm. ab usme unhone soch ye lagayi hai ki abhi ke liye main foreigners bharunga taki my game is a lot better because the general consensus is the composure on the ball tactical awareness where to be on the field the foreign player is a lot more evolved as opposed to the indian player yeah and on some levels i agree with that yeah. though now the foreigners you're going to see in the isl though there are some really good top quality Absolutely. foreigners yeah, also jo maine i league ke time pe bhi nahi dekhe ab solid top quality lekin uske baad ek gap hai aur fir mediocre level foreigners bhi bade dikhne ko mil rahe hain right jo matlab aa rahe hain ki hum aa j league mein the hum aa france mein the wo thappa laga hua hai uske balbute pe chalo ji aa jao yahan pe तो फ्रॉम दैट एंगल दे आर कि यार हम फॉरेनर खिलाएंगे क्योंकि हम अपना लीग बेच रहे हैं भाई हम अपना लीग अब अब आप क्या कर सकते हो आप क्रॉस रोड्स पे ही हो ना आप क्या कर सकते हो वो मैं क्या कह रहा हूं कि अभी जो सिस्टम यहां पे है सिंपल ये सिस्टम है इसमें इन लड़कों को इतना नहीं खेलने को मिलने वाला अभी हाँ चे क्या पता दो साल बाद मिलने को आ जाए दिल ग्रो दिल बिकम बेटर प्लेयर उस दो साल में जो दो साल गए हैं उसमें क्या होगा यही होगा I am not even counting Saudi Arabia as Pakistan. You losing three zero to Afghanistan. Wo hai ji, asli result. Yeah. So yeah. which brings us to Afghanistan, hmm. who the senior squad are playing in on uh, the fourteenth of November in Tajikistan, in Dushanbe, hmm. on an artificial surface. Artificial, huh? Yes. Artificial surface. So actually, in an environment that is, I mean, they, of course, Afghanistan are the home team in this uh, scenario. So obviously the. it environment is supposed to suit them better huh. what's happening with the senior national team and like how is all of this system that we've created feeding into that i i just think, I think firstly you've done a nice thing on the new boys who've come in right from yeah uh, so there's i think in the 26 man squad from that, bangladesh huh that no this is the 26 man squad announced for the two back to back games that india are going to play against afghanistan and oman there's a difference there's six new guys hmm huh. From the previous match day squad, hmm. there are Dheeraj who is coming goal. Yeah. There's Nishu Kumar who wasn't there previously. Hmm. There's Jackie. There's Dungal. There's Pranay who has come back. Hmm. And there's Farooq. Farooq. Yeah. So these are the boys. Of course, it's going to be trimmed down to 23. Hmm. Uh, the official match day squad, and I think we all have some sort of idea of who they, who the boys that are going to get dropped. Hmm. 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 But like, I think the key thing to see is that we were discussing this just before we pressed roll is that. central defenders we are sort of kami hai sir drying hmm. up bahut zyada because you are saying reports are suggesting that adil is pulled up hands, a hamstring yes. right so that means there's no sandesh there's no adil and anas has hardly played in uh, the isl he hasn't played much he's barely played no so in this scenario you get to see some forward looking thought processes like narinder for example turning out for the under 19 squad on a regular basis yeah, he's he gives not there in this team no, no, he is oh he is there yeah he's there he's there in the squad yeah hmm. so at least you know that this guy has had like some solid international Three. competitive yeah. fixtures behind him right last couple of weeks now yes. how of course again the gap all of that stuff is one thing but at least game to mil raha hai usko game mil raha hai so at some level you see this forward thinking process on the other hand if you look at these so called new additions to the camp uh, no new names hmm these are all guys who have been in and around i mean dheeraj was first choice goalkeeper for the india under 17 world cup squad uh yeah. two years ago hmm. and since then he's been much talked about big move to the isl blah 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 spoken of as the next first choice for he's india he's a drop down bhai for sure the, he's not going to play definitely he's not going to be in the squad i think in the 20 i mean goalkeeper kyun rakha i suppose yeah. it depends on whether you have to name three goalkeepers or not Yeah, some I don't know. No, I think exactly it, it, what the rules yeah, I think, are. Yeah, I don't know what the rules are either. But I'd assume that you have to have two goalkeepers. But I mean, like, if you look at the rest of the squad, man, like, there is enough free spaces. I don't mind taking a young Dheeraj along just for the experience of yeah. sitting on the bench on a match day. I I really don't mind that because yeah. whatever, ten years old, fifteen years old, goalkeeper, our is an important position. Yeah. जितने ज्यादा गोलकीपर हम ट्रेन करें उतना बेहतर रहेगा और ऑल्सो गोलकीपर्स का बाहर जाने का चांस सबसे ज्यादा है जो हमने गुरप्रीत के करियर से देखा है और इवन अदर गैस बट बाकी लड़के जो हैं 
Jackie has been around forever. Hmm. Len has been around I'm, forever. I'm glad Len is there. Len Sonne has been around well, yeah. forever. Farooq is okay. He's he getting, scored. He's getting some game time in the ISL. Yeah, he's got like he's playing well. Hmm. But he has he's done that consistently. That's why he's made it to the setup for the national team, right? But where does he play in this squad? No, so yeah, I'm actually the happiest on seeing Manveer Singh there. Not purely because Manveer was never in the national team. He's always been there in the national team. But this is a different Manveer that is being made to play up front. Yeah. And he's yeah. getting game time, bhai. Yeah. And clearly, his Goa coach has been seeing what he's done versus a Qatar or versus whichever other team, Bangladesh, that he played against. And he said, I'm going to play this kid every time. I'm going to play in half, sometimes I'm going to play in wing. Now, let's play it and develop the kid. When will you play the kid? Right. And right. that in turn is developing Indian football. Yeah. You're preparing a replacement for that big man called Sunil Chhetri. Yeah. Now, I don't know if he's a like-for-like replacement, but in this position, a kid, a mobile kid, who knows his position, knows a little bit, of course, his, uh, you know, his limitations were seen in the Bangladesh game, as far yeah. as his positioning was concerned. No, he gave one or two goals. But the fact that you're being persisted with at club and national level, that's great. Especially in a position where we don't create too many players. Huh? Striking, where do we make so many players? Yes, once in a generation, we are happy that someone got 50 goals in the international game. Hmm. And in the last two, three generations between Vijayan, Bhutia yeah, and, and Chetri, Chetri. It's been sort of thak thak thak. Yeah. And in the small world that is Indian football, that works. Mm. You have one superstar and then everyone else who's just following around. So, I mean, if that is the point, then we'll continue mm. uh, the same way. Uh, for the rest of it, I mean, the same issues, I guess, remain. And uh, maybe we should wrap this chat up. Like, yeah, I, I, just, I just... Just by saying quickly that we will present actually uh, in the next... Actually day or two, a stats-based analysis with our partners Sports KPI on what they think statistically should be the best 11 that should represent India against Afghanistan and based Oman. Based on the what they've done in the ISL. Based on the yeah, ISL. Based on uh, key performance indexes. Hmm. They're used to saying all that now. This is how we say it. Because so many people have said that we don't study or study, so we started to study a little bit. We have a paper in front of us. So we are trying all this. So we are talking about forward position to the goalkeeper. Who is getting to play? Who is doing what in the game? And how that can affect India. This is just a general chat. Mainly to review what the under 19s did and mm. sort of build up the momentum back after the Diwali break. Okay. Yeah. Okay, bye. Anything else you boys want to add before we sort of say goodbye? I, I just think uh, Pranoy has a good chance, even though he's not played much, I think he has a chance of playing purely because you have two stopper backs, and sir. Thode yeah, I would play Pranoy. Suspect. Yeah. Lag rahe to aapko aage kuch to defensive cover. Dena padega. Yeah, actually, interesting, since we're talking about stats, the one stat that did stand out is. Both Anirudh and Sahel, huh. who statistically would be India's central midfield, have gotten the least amount of minutes in the, in the ISL. So, a guy like Pranay, who perhaps is playing a little more, I think he's playing a little more game time, huh. might just work better as a in that cover role. Yeah. But we'll do that and more in the next episode. And we'll be doing a live blog and live commentary on the game as usual. So, stay tuned for that. In the meantime, 420 grams is back. <laughs> oh, yeah. And we're going to make Pandit do an on air promise that we'll do one show every week. <laughs> promise. <laughs> very, very reluctantly. But uh, that's the show for today. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned.